This week was especially busy for the king and queen consort and their future successors, the prince and princess of Wales. Camilla was out of action until Thursday, however upon her return to work she packed an impressive three engagements into one day. After solo visits on Monday to visit Ukrainian military recruits and to the Felix Project on Wednesday, King Charles joined his wife to mark the second anniversary of her reading room. Prince William paid a visit to a cause close to his heart on Thursday, while on Pancake Day Kate tried her hand at making some delicious snacks at a nursing home. The Earl and Countess of Wessex have also been on a royal tour in the Caribbean this week, taking in the Cayman Islands and the Turks and Caicos. Here's everything the royals got up to this week Monday 20th February On Monday Charles took a trip to southwest England to meet Ukrainian military recruits temporarily stationed in the UK. The king got an insight into the five-week-long training regime, with British and international partners teaching the troops how to attack enemy positions. He spoke with military personnel while watching a defensive training exercise, which saw soldiers crawling along the ground. His Majesty was accompanied throughout the visit by Chief of General Staff General Sir Patrick Sanders and spoke with soldiers taking part in the training. Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex also touched down in the Cayman Islands, where they were greeted by Governor Martin Roper. Tuesday 21 February on Pancake Day the Princess of Wales visited the Oxford House Nursing Home in Slough, where she learned how the home is using cutting-edge, interactive technology to improve the lives of its residents with dementia. Kate chatted happily to 109-year-old resident Nora, her fellow Capricorn whose birthday is just two days before the princess's on January 9. Kate may be known for her competitiveness, however she struggled with a pancake-making task as she dubbed her culinary efforts a congealed blob. Wednesday 22 February The king and queen consort were supposed to visit the Felix Project in East London together on Wednesday, however Camilla pulled out to ensure her complete recovery from Covid. Charles instead travelled alone to Poplar to learn about the work of the food redistribution charity, which aims to reduce food waste and food poverty. His Majesty toured the kitchens and warehouse, met with volunteers and staff and inspected their electric vans before unveiling a plaque to mark the visit. In the Cayman Islands Sophie Wessex delighted local children by enjoying a game of dodgeball at a YMCA half-term camp. Thursday 23 February Thursday saw the Queen Consort make a welcome return to royal duties with three engagements in one day, beginning with a reception at Clarence House to celebrate the second anniversary of her literature charity The Reading Room alongside the King. During her speech Camilla appeared to make a dig at Puffin for making edits to the language used in classic royal doll books, urging guests to remain true to your calling. She then went to Boston Manor to celebrate its 400th anniversary after recent renovations, where she was gifted with a replica of the key given to the Queen Mother when she visited the house. Later in the afternoon Camilla met with Jimmy Chu and Stephen Smith, founders of the London Fashion Academy and took in the university's facilities. The Academy is one of the newest emerging universities in the UK solely dedicated to fashion, with Camilla meeting local children and taking in their shoe designs. Meanwhile Prince William visited homeless charity The Passage to open two new residential buildings, a cause particularly close to his heart. The future king is now patron of the charity, having first been taken there and introduced to their work by his late mother Princess Diana. What's next in the royal diary? Next Tuesday 28th of February Kate and William will return to South Wales ahead of St David's Day. They will be meeting local communities and championing mental health initiatives in the area. 
Princess Anne will also be traveling around the country, including making a trip to Scotland on Wednesday 1st of March.